Universal Studios for Halloween Horror Nights 2024. I got Hayes with me. Game plan full in effect right now. Now, we have the day-night ticket combo, which means we can get into the park at 2 o'clock. So, it's 2.30 at the moment. <laughs> so, we are going to get there. We're going to get something to eat, uh, look at some of this merch, and then uh, make our way into the park. I want to try to get in, obviously, before 5 o'clock, um, which I think we're going to. We just want to really have to have it before uh, we get inside, because we've talked about needing to have it now for, I think, about a week now. And now it's like... talking about the one by our house, so, yeah, so, um, a big shout out to Element Bay for letting me have the half days of it's greatly appreciated. Yeah, so she got all nice and ready, took a vacation day today. Happy. Yes, very happy, on our way now, game plan full effect tonight, we got regular general admission, we're going in, we're going to try to hit, we're going to hit all nine attractions. Look at all the scare zones, and uh, maybe catch a show or two. I don't know. Huh? Yeah, seven to ten. I don't even know if we're gonna. Yeah, I don't even know if I. I, I hope we go in, but like I don't even. We, e we have to, but like we're gonna. We have to. The lines are gonna get so long. We're not gonna be able to do anything. We'll try our best to see what we can do. But I think going into this right now, I am super stoked to see Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I am super stoked to see, um, what else am I saying? Oh, Universal Monsters for sure. Uh, I'm rocking a Ghostbusters shirt today, so I guess you can say I'm a little excited for Ghostbusters. Um, what are you most excited for going into it before we even get there? Monsteros, yes, Monsteros 2, The Nightmares of Latin America. And of course, Luchadores Monsterosos. Cannot wait. I've been hearing some good stuff for preview night that these guys know their wrestling moves, mimics, all that fun stuff. So I'm excited. We are on the 210 freeway getting there right now. And uh, we will get back to you once we get to the parking lot. All right, we have arrived at the. Well, yeah, we're at the turning signal. It was, a, it was a pretty good drive, not too bad traffic. And that's another thing, part of the game plan. <laughs> That, um, that we talked about a little bit from last year's was try to leave early so you can avoid traffic. Uh, if anyone lives in California, they could tell you traffic is the worst here. The 5 freeway is the worst. The 101 is the worst. This is the worst! <laughs> we came in from, I think, uh, 134, 134, yeah, from Ventura, um, from the 210. So we got here in about 45 minutes. Uh, probably even less actually I would say about 30 minutes maybe because it didn't there were we had no traffic at all so that's good but we are pulling up to the entranceway of Universal Studios to park um, and we are just getting I'm getting more and more excited to get here you guys know me and Horror Nights been coming since 2011 so this is always a special one for me Hayes is excited because it is haunt season so Hayes loves haunt season so she's excited for that um, and I know What's up? Super silly fun land. Super silly fun land is like right. You can't see it. It's like too too bright. But we'll fix that once we get out of the car. Um, it needs a touch up. Though. It does need a touch up. It does. It's time to paint it just a little bit. Show it some love. Show it some love. Um, I, I wish Terminator would come back, but that's just how old school I am. I never got to see that. So it was. I'm down for that. Yeah, so good. Um, so yeah, now we're about to pay for parking right now, and we're going to hit uh, City Walk. So we'll get back to you once we get our habit at City Walk. Yeah. Habit time. Alright, we got our habit. It's habit time. It is. Habit time. We're here on the city walk. Which, get a good view over right there. Or right there. Setting up for the press event right there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are inside Universal Studios right now. Hayes and I got our day night combo in the park. What time have we got now? What time are we looking at? Two minutes till four. Two minutes till four. So it's almost four o'clock inside of Universal Studios right now. Guess we're gonna go. Oh, there's the Chainsaw Punks decor. We're going to see a lot of that. I'm already busting a sweat. If you guys haven't heard, this weekend is a massive heat wave here in California. Going up to 106 today. 
uh, I think it's going to like 107 tomorrow. It's going to be around that for the next couple of days. So if you're coming to Horror Nights, bring a mini fan. or if you came to, yeah, bring a mini fan, the TikTok ones. And uh, yeah, check the or weather. Hand fan. Or hand one. I am uh, getting some glare, but we got Purge Dangerous Waters here. We're making our way downstairs now so we can start our game plan. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done the day night combo, so I am but extremely okay. excited to try this out. Got our, got our little wristband so we can stay down and into the event so they don't kick us out of the park. Um, so that's gonna help us a ton to get the game plan out of the way. And we're going to the lower lot right now. We're gonna try to get into Super Nintendo World. I like how this skeleton has his head tilted, but that one doesn't. Yeah, look at those skeletons for Skull Lords. Awesome. I know. It's like he's looking straight into the park, and he's just looking down. Yeah. I don't even know. But we're in. We're going to make our way to Lower Lot, and then we'll pick up from there. Smart. So if you guys know me, I collect a lot of the lanterns, or the lanyards, uh, and I got the previous Ghostbusters one, and this is the one that I caught my eye this season. So this is the one I'm taking home with me this season. Got that Fast and Furious roller coaster going up right here. Kind of excited for this one. This thing's going to be huge. Pretty big, right? It's big. It's big. I'm not excited for it, though. Not excited. <laughs> nope. I'm very upset that they took away the animal show. Yeah, and it's very. a special effects soundstage. Well, I only got to see that once, so I'm really upset about the animal actors. Yeah. Because I've always believed that they needed more, more, more spotlight. Right. So we're making our way down to the lower lot now. Can't start mazes until 5.30, so gonna see what we can get done down here. Hopefully get into Super Nintendo World. Hopefully catch a ride on Mario Kart. Don't know how long the wait's gonna be, but I want to try to get in there before Horror Night starts. And to add to that, how often do you get to see owls? It's true. Bring back owls. Bring back owls. <laughs> What's up, Abel? Ladies and gentlemen, we just got out of the weekend after hours trilogy, and I have to say, 2022 was a lot better. But don't take it from me, Hayes. I love you like this year a little bit more. Wow. Okay. All right. That's that's actually a shocker to me, to be honest with you. I but I liked it. I said I liked it more than the other. Year. Okay. She liked it more than the other year. I just still don't see it. I don't. I don't, but you know what? I have some weekend fans that do see it. What do you think, Forrest? Hello. Okay, so I do have to agree that I think I loved this one, but I do think After Hours Nightmare was a really was better of the two. Okay. Um, but it was really fun. If you love the weekend, um, and if you listen to any of his stuff prior to going through it, I think you'll really. Like it. All right. There you go. From a weekend fan and not a weekend fan, I'm here to I'm here to please all the fans. What about you? What did you think of me? version of Lady Gaga, abstract, always goes for the shock value. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, well I just got a, a card for, to give to the front of the line. We're in line for my most anticipated maze now, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Legacy of Leatherface. I'm looking forward to this one. Cannot wait to see what this one has to offer. One maze down. I gotta get a time. I don't know what time it is right now, but... Babe, what time is it? 
It is 5.58 at the moment. We've done one maze with our early entry. We waited in line for the weekend. Now we're over here at Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Then after Texas, we're gonna head to Eternal Bloodlines and then Dead Exposure and then on our way back up. It's going pretty good so far. Let's see if we can keep it up for the rest of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Dead Exposure. Death Valley, uh, we just got out of that one right now. Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Death Valley. Now, both wonderful houses to walk through, but I just feel like we got different walkthroughs. Uh, more to say that not all the actors were there, so a lot of dead spots for us, but nonetheless, I think Dead Exposure so far is my favorite maze tonight. Dead so far. Was actually pretty cool. Yeah, so far pretty good. Now we're heading out to, of course, Universal Monsters, Eternal Bloodlines. Can't wait to do that. And then heading up to the upper lot. And it's not even 7 o'clock yet, and we have one more maze, and we're done down here. But I like the smells in Texas. Oh, see, she, she liked the smells in Texas. I, I wasn't a big fan of the smells in Texas. So we're walking towards Eternal Bloodlines right now. We're going to walk through that, see what that has to offer. And then we're going upstairs, and the event will officially start once we get upstairs, because it is almost 7 o'clock. In about seven minutes. seven minutes till seven, and we've done three houses already on the day night combo. So, yeah, take advantage of day night combo, take advantage of the early entry. We highly suggest it. Take advantage of all that stuff. My pursuit of Dracula's brides has brought me to this place. My pursuit of Dracula's brides has brought me to this place. Time just so she can give you guys 53. 753? Yes, 752. Now we are back on the upper lot. 
We are gonna go check out Monsteros. We got Quiet Place. We have, I believe, Ghostbusters. And of course, Insidious on the upper lot. Uh, so far, I will say Dead Exposure, Great Maze, uh, Universal Monsters, Eternal Bloodlines. I think it was fun. I had a great time going in Soundstage 12 just to see all that history. Like, what'd you think? I liked it. It was a lot of fun. It was really good. Dead yeah. Exposure actually got my little boat now we're walking towards Murder of Crows, one of the scare zones for this year. Can't wait to see what that's about. So let's go check that out and let's see what all the other scare zones have to be like and all the other houses tonight at Halloween Horror Nights. Having a very good time so far, so stay tuned. We got more to share with you guys tonight. So far, pretty good tear tram. I'm actually digging it. It's almost like little mazes as you're walking through the different movies of Blumhouse. That's so cool though, the Hollywood sign all bloodied up and stuff. Now we walk up the hill. One of our favorites, the Psycho Photo House. The Psycho Photo Op House right here. Just watch Maxine, so seeing that, pretty cool. You watch the me. I did. It's okay though. <laughs> I still love you, baby. Okay. I love you too. She actually goes in the house. It's pretty cool to see inside. Now we're going into the purge. We just got off the tear tram, which I have to say started very strong and then didn't end good. Like, there was a whole VIP section that usually has been the extension for the tear tram for years. Whole VIP section, which is the Wolfman, all that stuff. Wasn't a big fan of that. But, yeah, the Wolfman was in that VIP area. The new one that they're making for January. So, you could have gotten a sneak preview of that. But, first half, probably my favorite. Megan. Um, that was cool. Black phone was really cool. Sense. Yeah, black phone was cool. Freaky was cool. I liked how they did like the little facades too, as you were like going through different. The things. different, yeah, the different and they scenes. Completely changed the hotel area. Yeah, it that was, was cool. it was different. It was more of a walkthrough. Thought that was all fun. Thought the purge was fun. But then when we get to the very end, where we usually have one last section, they blocked it off for RIP this year. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. On top of that, I know the Nope section is RIP this year as well, so that was a little bit of a disappointment to not walk through those sets. But, nonetheless, we're going to keep continuing on. We're heading to Insidious, Curious Ghostbusters, George Curious George Lot. 
we're going to see what those have to do. She's excited for Insidious. Yeah. I'm a little excited for Ghostbusters. Oh, so it's, a little nervous for Insidious. A little nervous for Insidious. Oh. Just a little bit. All right, we're going to hit those two. Then we got Monsteros in a quiet place. We're at 837 right now with over half the event already done. So let's go take a look at Insidious and Ghostbusters, see what we can come up with. Welcome, welcome. The parable's tale of an ugly podcast. Now he's headed straight for us. The podcast has a cameo. For the Monsturosos 
luchadores El Santo Got a one on two right here Tornado tag done with Halloween Horror Nights here at Universal Studios Hollywood and uh, we owe you guys a few maze reviews. Sometimes we get a little caught in the moment. We caught uh, up with Raven. We caught up with Raven. We were with Raven the whole night so you'll see him in a lot of the walkthroughs actually. Um, but we were, half the Yeah, half the night. Uh, during Insidious actually we caught up with Raven and then we did Insidious <laughs> Quiet Place and Monsteros 2 with Raven. So big shout out to Raven. We love you Raven. Um, he was our revitalization. Yeah, he made it a lot more fun for us, I'll be honest with you. We were practically dead when we found We out. were. We were we were just dead from tired anyway. We did Ghostbusters. What do you say? Stop doing the line under the parking structure. You're going to kill somebody. Oh. End of rant. Insidious. We'll talk about that in a bit. <laughs> uh, but before we get on the freeway, we want to give you a little sneak preview of maybe uh, what's to come next let's see if you guys can catch it right there but that's not scary farm that's our next major haunt we're going to be hitting up so stay tuned for uh this week we're going to do not scary farm week right here on the nights of horror but back to halloween horror nights so i thought ghostbusters honestly like it had some good maze designs um it had some good scares in it it had really good special effects in it um overall though I think the 2019 original movie was a lot better. That's just my opinion. I know you didn't get to see 2019. So this was like a first Ghostbusters maze for you. What did you think about it? I thought it was pretty cool. I liked it. I really liked the little mini puffs. Yeah, those were fun. 
like I said, the tech in this maze was just out, uh, amazing. It was awesome. You know, like this maze spot I've noticed the last couple of years has been the essentially, um, it's been the, the tech one. Uh, like you yeah. look back at it, like Scarecrow was good. I don't know if you saw Scarecrow. Yeah. You saw Scarecrow? Scarecrow, Scarecrow was good. And then that last year. First year going as media. Yeah. And you went together. That's right. And, and then, then last year you went with you and Sammy. Me and Sammy went last year, and last year was um, Chucky, and Chucky yeah. was really good uh, tech-wise. Uh, well, so you, you, I think you got a better walkthrough for Chucky than I did. Yeah, I'm gonna throw on this light real quick. Is that okay? Yeah, All right, we got some lighting in here, in studio lighting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so this one's been known to be very technologically like this is where they kind of test everything, take the chances, and all that stuff. So I really enjoy that aspect of things. I think the tech is always fun in those mazes. Now I gotta talk about Insidious. We gotta talk about Insidious. This is the one that she was looking forward to the most. Yeah. Uh, one of the ones she was looking forward to the most. I know Monsteros was probably the one she was looking forward to the most if you watch the hype list. Um, and I gotta be honest, I was very disappointed with Insidious. I, I, I think a lot of the, what we got tonight were just not the best walkthroughs or during cash change or they were understaffed. I don't know what the correct answer would be. Those are my three guesses just from going to Haunt all these years. Um, Insidious started with a lot of mannequins and it was supposed to be a retelling of some of the movies. Uh, and then it got into some of the scenes, but then for me, there was just a lot of black walls. Yeah. A lot of black walls. So I, I don't know. I, I have to. Insidious was not. It did not live up to the hype, in my opinion. And I know you're a big Insidious fan, so. Yeah. You know, that's. Big down for me. I, I think it was cool to see a lot of the demons. Like we saw, you know, a lot of the infamous demons. That was cool, but like, I don't know. It just didn't hit. I, I, you know, previous years have been better. So. You know, we'll see what happens with that in the future, uh, if Insidious ever does return to HHN, which I don't know how at the point. 32 minutes on the way to get home, by the way, right now. Now, let's go up to the uh, to Parisian Courtyard uh, and the old Walking Dead location, a quiet place. Now, we all walked through a quiet place, and I think we can all agree, like, when we all walked out, we all said that was probably the best walkthrough of the night. What would you say? It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Right. I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, going into tonight, I had only seen the walkthroughs from Florida, and I wasn't very thrilled with what they had going on. Right. So, um, oh, I'm happily surprised at what we did see in our, ma our house. Right. Base. Sorry, people are... We're driving. It's L.A. If you know L.A., it's not the best driving. And I get road rage issues. She gets road rage issues. So she's actually holding it really well for you guys right now. But, uh, quiet place. Yeah, so it was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. It was probably one of the best walkthroughs of the night. Yeah. Um, I'm not thrilled to have to say that, but I gotta give props where props are due. Yeah, quiet place probably is, like, you know, it was pretty low on all of our lists from, I remember when, you know, editing that video, everybody put it, not like super low, but like, it was low on a lot of people's list. I think for me, that's going to be like the number one walkthrough I walk through tonight, like hands down. And for me, I can kind of explain that. Like, I'm not huge on this, these whole giant puppets. Like, yeah. Yeah, I get it. That's how you get to pull off the big scenes and stuff like that. Right. But I want to see practical effects. I don't want to just see puppets. Like, yeah. if you're going to do puppets, then at least make them motion puppets where, you know, the actor that's act like the mobilizing them essentially can have some sort of triggers or some sort of something to you know make the face interactive or do something more yeah. i mean you guys are universal like yeah. you have all our money practically you do you do and every year you get more of it and every year we keep coming back because we love it uh until we don't until we don't <laughs> i don't think that will ever happen for you for Hayes, maybe uh she's more newer to hhn than i am I'm super, okay, let me, for, for all those of you that don't know, I just got into the haunt scene in yeah. 2017. Yeah, but she's fairly I'm new. But I'm a harsh critic. Yeah, she is. She very much is. Like, me and her constantly have conversations, uh, little debates about what we think about certain things, and it's usually sometimes, most of the time it's the same opinion, and then sometimes it's the opposite opinion, so, uh, yeah. We saved Monsteros 2 for last, because that was the one that I wanted to go out on. That was the one I had a feeling that was going to be good, and it did, it delivered. I, I loved Monsteros 2, uh, The Nightmares of Latin America. Another great installment to the Monsteros uh, saga. Uh, and then to end it with Luchador's Monsterosos, I mean, 
great. Just chef's kiss. The, the, uh, you know, every actor was on point. Yeah. They got into a brawl with Raven, as you guys saw in today's vlog. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And overall, uh, Chainsaw Punks was great. Skull Lords actually, I think, surprised me a lot. Yeah. Like, it was really good. I was impressed from what I saw when we hung out there for a little bit. And Murder of Crows was just a fun vibe. I loved Murder of Crows. I thought the other two were a little underwhelming until the end of the night. I until think that chainsaw chase out. I have to say, I might have liked the scare zones a little bit more than the mazes this year. And that's kind of a lot to say. Uh, but we are, we are going to be making a video in the future of all of us kind of breaking down, or at least me and Hayes, actually like sitting down, breaking down each maze, what we liked, Maybe what we didn't we like. Or we watch some walkthroughs and stuff and see what's going on. But uh, overall, listen, we're going to, we, we say these things more or less because. Constructive criticism. Constructive criticism, exactly. We don't like to see haunts fail, we like to see haunts thrive. And there are a few issues that we did have. Again, we could have had just, just bad walkthroughs tonight. And, you know, we tried our best to do what we can. I will say this. We smashed the game plan. We, uh, we were done we by... We took a break. We yeah. took almost an hour-long break. We did. And we were chilling, just... You know, we did not that... do the purge, and we did not do the Chucky show. Though. Yeah, we didn't do the two shows, but we did do all the scare zones. We did all the mazes. Uh, we even rode Mario Kart, so yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna have to come back to Super Nintendo World just to do that on its own, but that's another time. But I, I just wanna go out and say, like, I fucking love HHN. Um, I've always loved HHN, and I will continue to love HHN. I still find ways to have fun every single season, and I did. I had yeah. a lot of fun. Um, it was a great start to the haunt season, and I cannot wait to see what comes next and who else is going to bring out all the stops this year, because there's a lot of competition this year, and I can't wait to see what everyone yeah. does. Our next major haunt, to my knowledge, is not Scary Farm. We may do one last HHN trip, um, but for sure we will be at Not Scary Farm opening night, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, I have to give overall event this year, honestly, a 6 out of 10. That's just my opinion. That's me. What about you? I don't think you want to wear it. Alright, we'll save that for another time. If I had to, like, if I wanted to be generous, like... A five. We'll go with a five out of ten. I think anything after that is going to be lower, right? For, for me, it just needed a lot of improvement, and I'm sorry to say that. Hey, you know, like, it is what it is. We got friends that work there, and like... By the way, talent, oh, though, the ones yeah, that we did was, see... They were on top of it. They were yeah. great tonight. And I and I appreciate the fuck out of every scare actor that goes out there. You know what? Here's my positive note for this year. You guys got me more this year than you got me last year. That's good. So That's that means that talent was working their asses off. Yeah. So give them tailbones a raise. Talent working their asses off. And I want to say, I want to give a huge, shout, uh, a huge shout out to uh, the scenic uh, dressing department. Um... Yes, they're on point too. Everything looked great, sounded great, uh, lighting was great. Um, you know, I, I, you know, overall, like these things, they were genuinely great. It was just, I think, I think we just had bad walkthroughs. Yeah, it was just staffing. We had bad walkthroughs, and it really, when you have a bad walkthrough, opening night though. They only yeah. had one other night to get yeah. this perfected. So, so there's still a lot of changes that could be happening. That's why I do tend to like to come later on in the season to see what changes happened, what works, what didn't work. So I don't know. Um, I'm hoping we'll get some changes throughout the season and I'll see or hear about it, so I'm excited for that. But other than that, guys, that's going to do it for our Halloween Horror Nights vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We really tried our hardest today to vlog as much as we can. I know I'm very bad at that, um, but I'm glad that we got a lot of footage that we did and a lot of vlog footage that we did. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to do this. A lot of notes. Yeah, a lot of notes for next year's game plan already in the works for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, but if nothing else more, I'm Anthony. That's the beautiful Haze. We are the Knights of Horror, and we had a great time at Halloween Horror Nights. On to the next thing. See you guys soon. Happy haunt season. Stay spooky. Oh, we have Dark Harbor too. And at Dark Harbor. That same, yep. It's going to be great. Have fun. Okay. Have a good time. It's okay. going to be a fun haunt season. Hump, hump, hump season? Yeah. It's going to be a fun haunt season. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay, actors. Stay hydrated. Check the weather. Yeah. Because it was hot tonight. Love each and every one of you. Have a great night. We'll see you guys real soon. Bye.